Um, one of the biggest numbers, well, perhaps the biggest number that jumped out at a lot of us, £2.5 billion in projected economic impact over 10 years. Where does that figure come from? Well, look, first of all, the people who question the figure have got either short memories or no knowledge of history. Uh, the GDP of Gibraltar <laughs> increased in the eight years that I was chief minister 133% in eight years. Mm. The two and a half million would be in 10 years, 100%. Since we were elected in 2011, from 2011 to 2019 when COVID came in, and then came in in February 20, the GDP went up by 114%. So in the two terms that we've been in, we've done more than doubled in less than 10 years. So to, to say that the economy can actually grow from 2.5 million to 5 billion in 10 years is not an abnormal and an unusual thing because we've done more than that mm. twice in less than, than 10 years. But in fact, the, the, where does the impact come from? Well, look, you need to understand how the GDP functions. The GDP is really the output of Gibraltar measured by fundamentally three revenue streams. And that is the revenue streams of the profits of companies, the revenue streams of the earnings of people, and the revenue stream of the rent of landlords. So every time you create property, the income of the rental continues increasing the GDP every year. It doesn't matter whether it's one developer or 20 developers doing it. What is self-evident is that the guy that is willing to put 90 million in, uh, in, in payment for the site and go, is going to remove that mountain, which was the, the, that, the, the mountain that we've got there, we can owe to the GSD. Because when, when I left it, it was a flat ground. The cost of that mountain now is 80 million pounds to remove. So if we had to remove the mountain, we would be left with 10 million out of the 90. Look, every, everything that has been built in the last 10 years, the removal of what was there in the places where things have been built are finished up there, in that mountain. That mountain has been getting higher and higher and higher ever since we left a plane there in 1996. And the higher the mountain, the greater the cost. And with the passage of time, the uh, constraints on taking that mountain out of Gibraltar and into Spain, the amount of money you have to pay and the obstacles that are in depositing something that has not been sifted and separated. Mm. You know, there's those kinds of stuff there because they're not building down maybe with asbestos in it. They haven't taken the asbestos out. So okay. that is not something that you can use. The, the fact is that by putting it inside a, a, a concrete container to sink the container is the cheapest way of getting rid of it. But it's not a way that is available unless you've got the money to develop the area which is what is now going so to Joe, be done. Very sorry, we were never going to get through much of what there is to discuss. We would love to have you back on a viewpoint to discuss this in okay. far more depth than it deserves. Thanks for joining us. Uh,